congrats to Duke and Coach Elko. Um, it's a good physical football team. It's, it's what I thought they were on tape. Um, and I thought they played a really good game. Obviously disappointing um, uh, to lose the game. Um, also, just before I start answering any questions, um, appreciate the students again. It probably means more than than they even understand for for us. Um, the student section was full. Uh, they were supportive in the Eagle Walk. They were supportive throughout the game. And that is really appreciated, especially in a time like this, which says everything about BC. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, we'll take a look at the film, but I'll be happy to answer all the questions that you have. Rich, we just started. Thanks. Yeah, just comment on how Emmett settled down in the second half and, and started finding his receivers. Yeah, I mean, it's the first game Emmett started since his junior year in high school. Um, so probably anxious, probably had some nerves. Early in the game, we really didn't have very good field position. Um, we put him in really tough situations, but he showed leadership. He showed poise, um, got rid of the ball, made some good decisions, showed athleticism, hit some really good, I mean, big plays. I mean, drove us down and Emmett's barely practiced two minute situations. Mm -hmm. like, hasn't had those reps, and yeah. pretty much that's what he did in the second half. And you know, we're we're an onside kick away from you know tying the game. So you know, probably just took a little time to settle in. But first game playing, he's threw for 330 yards, four touchdowns, um, didn't turn the ball over. So I'd I'd say that's a pretty good start for him. Probably the biggest thing um, is leadership, was really impressive today. So. Jeff, he uh, showed a pretty good pocket presence tonight, and I'm wondering, I know you're going to look at the film and decisions will be down the road, but I'm wondering if he showed you enough tonight to put himself in the mix that even if Phil comes back, you've got a decision to make. Yeah, I think that's a fair question. Phil's hurt right now, so there's no decision. Phil's our starter, and Emmett did a really good job tonight. I don't have to talk about the positives with that, um, but I respect the question. Just more about the connection between, you know, Emmett and Joe. I mean, those two, like, seem to have a great rapport in practice and in games. I'd imagine they just work really well together the whole time. Just what, what makes them so good as a unit? Yeah, I mean, obviously Emmett hasn't got as many reps, Trevor, as you'd think. Um, but the connection looked real. I mean, I think Joe's another positive. I mean, you get, you get Emmett's first game and Joe Griffin. I mean, Joe had 103 yards and two touchdowns and some really good catches, competitive catches, and he drew some pass interference call. He was like one of the best players on the field tonight. Um, but that was impressive to watch. And I, I think it shows you it shows, it shows you a pretty bright future with those two, which is exciting. Um, Alex Broom, I thought, at least from watching from the sideline, jumped off today too. Um, fast, explosive, made people miss. Um, it was impressive to watch him. I think, you know, he finished 50 carries, averaged almost five yards of rush. Um, but those three young guys, they jumped, they jumped out today, and I, it was impressive. I know you guys have tr struggled to score in the second half, but today you guys scored 17 points. What was different today? I, I think we executed at a higher level. Um, you know, we made plays that we hadn't been making. We were, we were able to run the ball today, um, which is really important, um, which we haven't been able to do. But we were able to hit some big runs. We set up the pass, and I thought the receivers stepped up. I mean, you had Zay and. Uh, bunch of check downs to Pat and Broom and um, Dino Tomlin I thought stepped in and, and had some really nice plays too but higher level of execution um, which it was really nice to see. Uh, what are your thoughts on the defense overall? Obviously a tough first half and they bounced back pretty well in the second. Yeah, fair question. Um, first, just you know thinking through this game the most impressive thing was the fight of the team tonight. And that's all we got talked about, attitude and effort, um, you know, and, and playing for each other. Um, and they did. I mean, we were down 17, and it could have gotten ugly. And at times it felt that way. But our guys fought, like really fought. And I told them I was proud. Obviously, lost is disappointing. But when you watch that, I mean, they didn't quit. And they just kept coming. And Duke didn't quit. They didn't let up. But I was proud of how hard we played. And that leads to the defense. 
we didn't tackle well. We did. We looked a little tired up front. Um, we want to get in the same push, and and we a couple of those explosive runs, especially early, we just we were in the hole, even on a couple of the touchdowns, we just we just missed tackles, and that's been very unlike us. Um, so I'll have to watch the tape, but but they did bounce back, and they stopped them multiple times in a row at the end of the game to give us a chance to get the ball back and get within one possession. Um, so disappointed, disappointed defensively. Um, you know, that, that we got to play better than that. But they did bounce back, and that's really important to me. Jeff, I know you've been looking for a compliment all year long for, for Zay. Joseph Griffin tonight stepped up big time, maybe coming out a party for him. Yeah, Joe's impressive today, really impressive. I mean, he, like I said, he made some big time contested catches in huge situations. The other thing that impressed me is with those receivers, if you watched our receivers block today, that was as physical as I've ever seen him play. And that, to me, is a sign of a team that's fighting. Zay, Jalen, Dino, Joe. Joe was blocking downfield for like 10 yards today. And that's impressive for a freshman. Um, yeah, Joe's got a bright future. I mean, he had a great game. And I know you've seen a lot of football. How strange is it? You gained close to 350 total yards tonight, but you also went three out on six times. A little bit of difference there. Field position. Fuel position wasn't good enough. Um, the return game really hurt us. The two holding calls on the um, on the kick returns put us in really bad field position. And if you think about Emmett trying to operate the offense backed up, it's a lot harder. Um, and I think it really hurt. We were playing from, I'd love to see the average field position. It felt like they had a short field almost every other drive in the first half, and we were playing backed up for most of the first half. Right around the first half, I asked if it was your uh Position was 16 yard line, theirs was 36. Yeah, uh, I appreciate you telling me that, but that's when, when you look at a lot of those three and outs, we were backed <clears> up. And then you got to be careful, you got to call the game a little bit more careful. Um, some of those passes at Emmett standing close to the goal line, a little bit different, a little more urgency. Um, smaller margin for error. Um, but, but those penalties, uh, we, we've been pretty good on penalties all year. I mean, we had a couple of holes that really cost us on those on those kick returns and put us back. Jeff, I guess one of the things though is giving up first drive touchdowns. Is that something you know you're playing from behind in these games? Is that something you really got to look at and get teams off the field? Or? Yeah, yeah, we got to start faster on defense. We got to come out, tackle, um, and, and make those plays earlier for sure. Yep, and we'll, we'll make sure we address that. Do you have an update on Jaden Williams? I know he missed the game again tonight. Any update? No, no update. Yeah, how's that? You guys got anything else? Thanks. All right, appreciate it.